What the guy thing was you? What the guy thing was you, my chat? Welcome back to my channel. This is episode two of the comeback because life. People keep talking. I just keep winning. I just like fuck. It. Oh, it's gonna be three episodes where I overcame depression, but uh, depression comes and goes. It's like a it's like a wave. I'm definitely not a specialist. I'm just saying, as an 18 year old, from my experience, this is what has been helping me so far. July, I basically went into a void. Okay, in July, I went to Europe. The question I was asking myself before I went to Europe was, is there something better than this? And the answer is yes. Yes, there is past me. It wasn't even a discovery. It was just like, I noticed how other people live differently. And I was like, so what I was doing was just going with the flow. And sometimes going against the flow works better. You kind of find yourself in like a what am I doing position after like maybe two years of like going with the flow. It's not a thing about like following your intuition and being like, oh, this is what feels right right now. I'm going to go hang out with my friends and get food and then come back and go to sleep and sleep in. It's more like even with those fun things that you're doing, what else are you pushing yourself to do or become? After coming back from the void, I wanted to... Life is sucks. You know what? Enjoy this real quick while I gather my thoughts. Questions, sir? Yeah, what's up? Oh my All right. So if you leave a condom in a car... What? If you leave a condom in a car, right? Will it expire? Like in the heat? If you do what? To if you leave a condom in the car. Oh, a condom in the car. Will, will it expire? I think it will. Okay. That's what I say. So I'm just going to throw it out. Um... <laughs> Footage. Yeah. 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 He, wait, he's just going on with his day like right. nothing mad or what the? <laughs> Not even laughing or well. I mean, I feel like the way he invitationally came over here, like, he's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what I meant. If you do everything based on your intuition, since emotions are so fickle and change very often, your whole life will feel like a roller coaster unless you are doing what you need to do every day which is disciplining yourself by doing what you need to do every day that's what i learned when i went to your Yes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. From like the ages of like 10 to 16, I think my goal was to like, I didn't actually think I was gonna survive up to 18. I thought I was gonna die or whatever. My life goal, because I thought I wasn't gonna survive, was to like, Get a boyfriend. I can't do this shit. I'm gonna just continue doing school, but I also like my ultimate goal is to just like have a boyfriend and like kiss somebody. I did that shit. Kind of anticlimactic. After that, I realized like, oh, you don't die after you complete your goals. Mm, um, now I just, I guess I have to come up with another goal. I actually, I have two goals. It's a. Uh, I've been way up in the hills reflecting. I cannot go back. And also, I'm 18 now, so um. Do I look like a Christian girl? Yeah. 
Oh my god, this is dangerous. Why are you cutting it like that? It's the wilderness. <laughs> no, it's not moving, but it's there. I think so, they're sleeping. Esta es la, la piel está muerto y esto es el de verdad. Oh. Hello. Come here. I don't think... <laughs> Well, this internal battle that has uh, kind of been resolved because I left the United States. <laughs> I don't know if it, oh my god, <laughs> it is working now. Ew, it tastes so weird. This is, <laughs> You got little nightmares, you got a balloon, you got ice cream. Is it your birthday today? Maybe. Oh my god, wait, when is your birthday? What's your birthday?